Even at the best of times, Yemen seems to hover between barely getting by and slipping into an abyss from which there can be no return. Add to that the coronavirus, pressing its weight onto an already weakened population, and the abyss widens its maw. Zoha Al-Sadi is an intensive care doctor in the port city of Aden. The people die in hospital, the people die in ambulance while they waiting for empty bed. The people die in home. We can't do anything for them. They're just suffering and die. Limited testing makes it difficult to track the spread of the disease, and both sides in Yemen's five-year-old civil war have been accused of downplaying the numbers, even burying the dead in secret. But the UN estimates Yemen's COVID-19 death rate to be five times that of the global average. That's because the health system is basically collapsed. There are very few ventilators, and UN agencies trying to fill the gap are literally running out of money. The UN has been paying 10,000 health workers in Yemen. We've had to stop doing that because we've run out of money to do that as well. Today, UNICEF warned a huge drop in funding threatens up to 2 million Yemeni children with severe malnutrition and 5 million under the age of 5 with the prospect of missing out on vaccinations against diseases like measles, diphtheria, polio. Peace would be helpful, but the conflict's belligerents haven't paused because of the virus. And civilians bear the brunt of the fighting, either in the initial attack or the knock-on effects that follow. The rare images that trickle out of Yemen can seem to offer a blank stare, but the need behind it is enormous. Margaret Evans, CBC News, London.